Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to these are uh, UAG Grand Disbursement Update. Now, the stories are playing out as uh, UAG officials wanted it. You know, I never wanted to give out this update, but I said we have resolved in these uh, channel, we and our crew, to make sure we leave no stone unturned. Every bit of information about this grand disbursement and grand community will give it to you. Now they are they are making people against people divert. I hope this month is not going to be a month of diversion. Now personal conflicts, personal interest, personal intrigues are now superseding our general goal, which is this disbursement. Anyway, it's not to to make matters and air my own personal view. Uh, let me just leave you to listen to this voice uh, note and uh, personally i'm not really happy you know we're supposed to come together follow one course which is the money disbursement but now the uags schools have kept mute they are not saying anything they are just clashing people's head brother against brother sister against sister and they are now quarreling we are not leaving the essence which is the money you know so just listen to this battle this is disbursement, battle for disbursement this month. See you at the, at the other side, guys. Good morning, everyone in Grants community. My name remains Comre Philip, the National President of Justice for the Masses Movement. I come my way today, 2nd of April, 2024. I firstly want to appreciate everyone within Nigeria and outside Nigeria that call me, that pray for me. And also those that send me right up of prayers. I so much appreciate everybody. I thank you very much. The kingdom of God has truly overcome the kingdom of darkness. Thank you. I appreciate all of you all. In this moment, in this period, thank you for standing there for me in prayers. Um, briefly, I want to quickly explain this. I don't know the sins or what I have done to achieve Tadju uh, Din Kayode Ajayi before. I did not offend him in any area. Because to me, his reaction looks like somebody that I've had you in mind before. He's just looking for something to hold on to express that anger. And we know in Grant's community, some of us that are agitators want to know the truth, especially that I am one of the organizers of press conference. We are the arch enemy of these people. I want to assume this is one of his annoyance against me. All he's looking for is just something to hold on. To, uh, on. on press conference platform, people were discussing and talking about they want to know the real meaning of Agbekoya. And on that platform, I made the interpretation and I let people know the full meaning of Agbekoya. Because Agbekoya in Yoruba language is an association of farmers, especially those ones that come together to fight for the rights of farmers. And it's an association. Therefore, anybody that comes from that circle is just a head of an association which is the head of Agboikoya. But Chief Kayode Tajudin Ajayi came to Grant Community to introduce himself as the worldwide chief of this same Agboikoya association. And this association, have their stand and their place and their location only within the Yoruba. Maybe later they now went abroad. But the story we met is a long time story. It's, it's an, even an association 
the, 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 the issue of Agbe Koya and their relevancy has been in the past year. Now we don't even, it's just, we are just talking, when we want to say story, talk about story, that is when we refer to them. But maybe they have resuscitated themselves to become a cheap tansy title within the kingdom of Yoruba, I don't know. But as far as I'm concerned, it is not a cheap tansy council. It's the aid of an association of people that come together to fight for the right of the farmer. That is just my explanation. Where well, maybe the explanation looks as if it reduced him the way he came to grant community to introduce himself so that he will have some upper and i did not mean any harm. i was just explaining being a yoruba man and some people are there don't know the story of this and what the meaning of agbe and koya in english language means i mean yoruba language means that's all i did not start the discussion it was people that were discussing it. People on that platform can testify to it. Not quite long, he called me. I gave that respect. Minela, I saw his calls. I know some agents on that platform has sent information to him. I received that call. He asked me, and I said, hello, sir. And he started talking. And suddenly he switched over to course. And some of you are siding him that why did I have to reply? I gave him so much respect when he first came to Grant Community with talk. And I talked to him, I warned him, I not really warned him, I advised him. So sorry to use the word warning. In Yoruba language, you don't want another. Advice, sir. Please be careful. You just came to Grant Community. They are supposed to can you are moving close. Be careful. I was there before. I know how inconsistent every statement that comes from its mouth is. And I told him to be careful with him. Because they will talk you to themselves to be on their side to use it against their opponents. And after they have finished using you, they will dump you to suffer the consequences yourself. That is what they did to Reverend Barachuku. And I told him, he said, I shouldn't worry. It's not a kid. It's this, it's that, and blah, and do I said, no problem. It's an elder. I have to respect his one. We have been related. Until when this press conference started, I heard that he was, I heard him bring a V note to against the press conference. I said, hey, I don't know that you too, you don't want the truth to be revealed because everything about the press conference is to bring out the truth in Grant community. Chief Kayode Tajudin Ajayi says sometimes that all fighters should come together and he spoke to me on phone, we, we discuss it. I so I'm so happy that we want to join hands together with him to unveil the truth in Grant community, not knowing that that call is just to pollute all the Grant fighter demo. Thank God we did not answer to that call. It was press conference that came to rescue all of us before we really know a true caller when he came out to speak against the press conference. I did not mean evil. To him, I still make him. I, uh, he's, uh, I still make him to remain a father until he come out with this kind of color that I don't expect from him. He started his discussion. I was listening on phone. He switched over. I don't have option than just to reply him back because I will not listen for somebody to be raising that kind of cause on himself, not me. It's a pity that he has come to snail himself with the words of his mouth. He said he's using all the power he have to declare cause on himself, not me. Not knowing that all powers 
in heavens and on the heart belong to God. Every item he used in putting those powers together, God created him, he owns it. And Jesus says, is the edge of all powers and principalities. He seated above right in the right hand of God, above powers and principalities. And Jesus made me to understand that I also sit with him in that area, in that hierarchy. And that is the hierarchy I belong to. No cause or incantation or divination from powers and principality can touch me. If it cannot touch Jesus, because I sit, I am in him, and I sit beside him, I operate for him. And no power, any other power can overcome the power in Jesus. And he possesses me with the power of Holy, Holy Spirit. I cannot be caused. Anyone that calls me, as I congratulate them for their doom. They have already used their mouth to snail themselves. That is what just happened yesterday. And I also appreciate those that calls me to pray for me, not just in Nigeria alone and abroad. All we are looking for is the truth to set everybody free from this darkness in grand community. That is my sin. And that is the sin of every other genuine grand fighter. And the fact remains, the scripture says, the light shines in darkness and darkness cannot comprehend them. And that is on that ground I stand. Any words that did not come out from God against any grand fighter or for any any word that God did not say, nobody can say it. No incantation, no enchantment against any grand fighter because we represent the light in grand community. To me, if the interpretation of the Agbekoya is what offends Chief uh, Tajudin Kayodi Ajayi. As a Yoruba man, we respect elders. I want to tell him so sorry for that. I'm sorry. But I don't expect you, sir, to undo it that way. I want you, to, I waited for you to finish expressing yourself so that we explain how it is and we say to his father to son and you understand me better and you tell me what you like and I don't like and I will caution myself another day because I did not mean I'm for interpreting the meaning of Agbekoya on that platform. I did not mean bad. I did not mean anything evil for you. I expect you to finish that I will not come here. But you didn't allow me. You just said one or two words and you switch to course. And I will not stand to hear that. On my, my agitation, my annoyance now stand on the course you raise, not unto me. And that is the ground I stand for this annoyance and this pleasure I am released on this in this V note and on the social media since yesterday. Therefore, I want to say this. Press conference is not meant to intimidate anybody. Press conference is not meant to scare anybody. Those that are scared of this press conference and they are attacking us in one or attack us both physically and spiritually because of press conference is because they have their hand in some things, shady things in grand community. That is why we become their enemy. Honestly speaking, before we start this conference, my mind is we are going to help 
the grand fighter if it is the government troubling them this is a time that the government will help so that at least Apostle to Ken have been facing a lot of hell let's help him that was my impression until i enter it i can see the true picture of the environment i find myself that they are even the one that is the problem not the government because if the government is a problem they will even be appreciating us for want want to, uh, 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 to, to to organize this press conference and they will support it seeing them fighting it shows that something is not right with them that makes me to change my direction and my approach to handling the mobilization and the organization of this press conference Chief Tajuddin Ajayi, sir, please, you need to know how to control your emotion. Well, I can say on this, I want to give for this line alone, respect the place of Apostle Ken in this area because all this why that people has been insulted him all over. We come out, Apostle Ken, this, he has not come out to abuse or curse anybody. You only see that people are interpreting that like Bacon, yeah, you feel it's touch, it touches your ego. You came out to insult and to start cursing, not me, because I can't be cursed. It shows that you can't withstand the emotional stuff in this grand community. If you can't, Chief Tajudi Najai, is better you stay off grand community and allow everything to happen. When these boss men come, they will give you your own share. That is just it. Nobody can cause me because I cannot be cause. It's a pity that you have snailed yourself with the words of your mouth. That's just it. Please, Grant Community, at the level it is now, the press, com press conference is a done deal. We can see the level of darkness that we have now presently in this Grant Community that is cause for serious attention that the cause for aggressive attention, we need to do something on time. I'm not surprised if even we to the subscriber are fighting the press conference is because of the spell in the grant community atmosphere. We are under their control. That is why somebody like us, oh, some of you will still come at that. Even that yesterday with all the cause that Chief Taju Din Ajayiri, somebody is still saying he's right. I look at it, I say some people are already in chain. Somebody is still, somebody, some, some pastors still come out and still say, why did I attack him? Kai, even pastors are under the spell. It's a pity. It's a pity. It's a pity. I want to say this morning, press conference will be done it's a done deal already we just have to do it not for the sake of all of you that are abusing us just for the sake of those people this grand event has damaged because of those people that have died they are now in the grave their blood is crying unto god every day and that is the reason why god is raising somebody like us the existence of justice for the masses in grand community is orchestrated by God. I did not plan it. God pushed me to do it. That is why I can't just do anything anyhow like other grand fighter. I can't just come out to start protesting anyhow. I do it according to the direction and instruction of God. And this press conference, we can see it vividly that God is in it because it's an intimidation to the enemy of this grand community. Therefore, the same God that brought me here is beside me and is with me and is, 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 is cover and his hand is fully on me. I will fear no evil. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, the grand community has turned to the valley of the shadow of death. 
The Bible made me to understand that I will fear no evil. Yes, for no evil shall befall me. And every other genuine grand fighter in this community, and so shall it be. Everybody in grand community, subscriber especially, especially the bundle head, please be free from their spell. And let's get this press conference done. God bless all of us. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm Steve Comrade Philip from Justice for the Masses Movement. Bye. That was a lengthy one. You have listened to it. So, guys, let's just pray that something positive will happen this month. See you at the other side, guys. Bye. <laughs>